All right, so we are going to make a printable PRN, or we're going to make a PRN.txt file. It's a two-step process. You click on the Windows button. You click on Save As. The sneaky little thing doesn't show up, so you have to... Do you see how that thing kind of rolls up and down there? So you got to go down here to the bottom, save it as other formats. Now, we've been, we've been down this road. Okay, and in here you choose, you scroll down, and you choose Space Delimited PRN. I'm going to go ahead and make it a different name since I'm doing this a second time. I'm doing this for two reasons. One is, is for the video, and two is, is to see if it'll actually work a second time. Okay, so I'm going to save it. And it is saving the file. This Okay, and it's asking me, um, giving me a warning. Yes, that's fine. Okay, now here's the trick. Only took me an hour and a half to figure this out. Hour and a half at 120 an hour. That ain't bad. That ain't bad at all. Okay, I'm going to go in here to accessories and I'm going to open WordPad. Not Notepad, but WordPad. Interestingly enough, and we'll try and get this over here a little bit so that you can. Okay. Now I'm going to come in behind here and I'm going to go ahead and close Excel. And now go to File, Open, and drop this down and do all documents. And we're going to open up that copy, the Pricing 2 PRN that we just created. Do I want to save changes to the document? No, I guess not. I'm not really sure. I guess I had something else open. Okay. <clears throat> so here we are. Now we've got a PRN file inside of WordPad. Now the trick is is to do a save as and this time we're going to save it as a text document. So what we've got is we've got the printer capability, we've got the PRN file which maintains the spacing. What actually happens when you export out of Excel to a PRN file, it actually puts in all these spaces for us. So this is these are actually blank spaces as opposed to tabs or separations. Now what we're going to do is we're going to save those spaces into a text file because you can't use a PRN file. As you already found out, I sent you both of them and the PRN didn't work, but the TXT did. So let's save that. And now what we have is we have our prn.txt file. And if we open that up, and it opens up in, uh, it did open up in Notepad, it maintains the spacing. So is that cool or is that cool?